All right, here we are at Super Bomberman in the second world. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, at this part in the game, like, the difficulty will step up. Like, as you can already see, the enemies are moving a little bit faster, and we have those cup guys moving around, you know, just moving through the walls here. So, um,. They can be quite annoying, especially if you lose your power-ups. Um, like, should I die now? I will actually lose my remote bombs here, so you have to do, be very careful. <gasps> with how you deal with things! Oh my god! Um, okay, okay. Do that. Walk out. Oh my god, that was a hairy situation. Whew, almost lost my remote bombs there, but, you know, I kept myself cool there. Kind of. <laughs> Not at first, but... <laughs> yeah, managed to recover it. So let's just get rid of these two. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You know, this is what I love with this game, you know. It's just so, so satisfactory. No, uh, is that even the right word? <laughs> it's so... It's so nice just getting rid of enemies, you know. It's, it's just a treat, you know. <laughs> yeah. Dude, these guys are really tricky. They... Looks like they try to avoid uh, bomb damage there. But yeah, I'll be back once I've exploded everything here. See you in a sec. Okay, so we did not get anything here. Um, we got that one power up earlier, and I don't know if I actually explain what it does. Um, it's the bulletproof west, I guess you could say. Basically, it makes him vulnerable. Um, maybe I did explain it, and you can just lay bombs over and over, and you know you won't take damage. It's a really cheap power up. Uh, I will not be exploiting, you know, the invulnerability trick with the bombs there with that either. Like, yeah. Ooh, the punching power up. So with the X button now, we can actually punch bombs around. We don't just kick them now like this is usually if you're in a situation like this and like you can't kick it over here but you can punch it away still so it's not quite the same as the kicking power up and of course we can reach this guy now too so yeah it's very important to keep everything in mind here you know what they're doing or how and you know <gasps> oh my god he could have set off a chain reaction and came in there but yeah, it's important to keep everything in mind, you know, all your power-ups and, you know, managing them, but managing them well. That's like the key to success here in this game. And this power-up here is the walk-through bombs power-up. So now we can no longer kick the bo uh, bombs around. However, I decided to pick it up since, you know, we can just punch the bombs away. <laughs> so I think we'll still be fine and this is very nice to have as well. Although the kicking power up is very nice for dealing with enemies, you know, since you can just kick the bombs onto them, like it makes destroying them very easy. The walk over bomb one is a little bit more, you know, for safety, I guess. But yeah. That's that world. Now we're in the third world here. <laughs> in the third stage of world two, I should say. Um, yeah. And. I actually believe that, let me try it out here, if we punch on top of them, yeah, they still die, so yeah, that's nice, we can still deal with enemies that way, boom, boom, double combo, <laughs> awesome, and yeah, look how, <laughs> look how powerful we are now, it's just ridiculous. We can deal with things so much faster than we could previously. Yeah, I'm not... Like, at this point, I'm not even afraid of these guys anymore. I'm just going to explode everything. And yeah, like, since I don't really want more firepower, I think this is a pretty satisfactory amount. I'll just show what it looks like when you explode a power-up there. It just... yeah. Goes up into smoke. Shoot, I should have been faster there. <laughs> okay. Oh, another remote bombs there. 
And what the hey, why not get this one too? Nothing there. Alright. 2-4. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I recall these guys, the slime enemies. Um, they aren't too bad. Like, they just kind of try and camouflage themselves. Um, they actually do not get, like, any invincibility, like, when they sink into the floor there, I believe. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you can still destroy them uh, when they sink in there. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, I need to be very careful here. These bomb guys, I hate them. Whoa, he destroyed the gold. No, 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 no. Get out of here. See, look at this. This is, this is dangerous. Yeah, and he's going to do it again, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, let's just lay a trap for him. Thankfully, like, this guy spawned instead of another bomb. Like, <laughs> those are just the worst. There we go. Yeah, there we have the invulnerability vest, but yeah, I'll just clear this off camera. And here are all the power-ups. So you have a question mark power-up up there. I do not recall what that does. It gave me some points. I don't know if it did anything else. Maybe it just gives a random power-up or something or other, but yeah. Here we got another walk through walls, and... Yeah! Bombs away! <laughs> Now I'm still using the tricky. This is a nice way if you want to get some points, I guess, by killing enemies. Like if you get a west in the end. <laughs> if you get a west at, <laughs> at the end of the stage, you can get some points, but I overdid it. Shoot, man. Oh, I lost it. No, I can't walk over. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I can't walk over my bombs. I can't walk through walls. I can't punch them. I can't do anything. Why did I have to do that? Man. Yeah, that's what happens when you play stupid. Oh my god, the evil coins are here. This stage is so stupid. Like, these guys are so fast. Yeah. Look at that. They are so fast and they go through walls. They are just the worst. Okay. Nice. Very nice. We managed to get rid of them there. Like, whenever you see them, like... There isn't a whole lot you can do about them, like, if you just wanna cheap them out, go ahead and use the invincibility trick, but I don't wanna do that, I'm just going to fight them fairly, and, you know, lose a couple of lives in the process there. You know, that's just how it's going to have to be. They are seriously- I'm dead! Oh my god! They are seriously the worst enemy in this entire game, um, and yeah, I don't want that. Like, I don't like having too much firepower, I think. Well, I guess one more penetrant. But yeah, I typically don't like having too much. I like, you know, four, five squares, you know, no no more than that, you know. I believe the maximum you can have is eight squares, um, or is it nine? I can't recall. You can get a, quite a big uh, explosion blast anyway. And yeah, like this is probably a little bit too big for my liking. How many is that? Is that four only? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's only four. <laughs> Yeah, okay, never mind. Three is probably my favorite then. <laughs> A radius of three. Oh no. Here we have upgraded bombs. Hmm. But wow, he took out three enemies. And I really want that. Please do not destroy that power up. Thank you. Whoa, and yeah, look at that. His explosion goes through walls. So you have to be very careful of the red guys. Very, very careful. Nice! Wow, that was so lucky! So lucky! Alright, here we are, we have cleared this up. And I accidentally picked up uh, the kick power-up, so it's very nice. Now we have that again, so that coupled with the punching power-up, we're looking much better now since, you know... Since I exploded myself, like, trying to gain points back. That was so dumb of me. Um, Shoot, we have this teacup, guys, and we have the bomb beaters. Um, I do not like it one bit. Oh no! Okay, good. There we go. Okay, let's just deal with him this way. Punch them on top of him. 
And yeah, it's a little bit cheap, but you know, you use your power ups the way you can. <laughs> Oi, oi, this is bad. I don't like my position here one bit. Let us try and get some more room to move here. I'm in a very bad spot. Fuck. Fuck! He scared me! Oh. Man. But yeah, as you can tell, the game is definitely getting a little bit harder here. Oh my god. Um, and yeah, sure, like... It probably looks easy, you know, I'm dying like foolishly here, but I promise you it's a lot harder when you're actually playing it yourself uh, <laughs> I may look stupid as hell dying here, but yeah You know, I, I highly recommend that you try this out Especially if you have a friend to play with because you can actually play this co-op like at the same time in the single player here, So you can help each other out and you know play through the game. It's yeah, it's a lot of fun Of course if you're playing with a friend I even more recommend that you just go into battle mode and, you know, <laughs> play that mode instead. That's even more fun, you know, <laughs> duking it out against each other. Alright. Nothing in there. Hmm, six lives left. Um, yeah, I better be careful. Like, if you run off of all your lives in the campaign here, you will actually lose all the power-ups. Like, even the explosion rages and the bombs, you'll be very bad off. And this will actually be actually be a little bit more interesting now. Like we actually have to do a boss. This freaking clown face boss. I don't know what they was thinking about. Wow! Oh no! Oh, I took. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, guys. I forgot to explain something earlier. Um, the heart I picked up back in the last world, uh, in the last world, gave me an extra hit. Um, and I lost it now when I took damage from one of these balls flying out here now. So yeah, one more hit and I'm dead here. And yeah, this guy, much like the first boss, isn't too hard. Uh, but he definitely is harder than the first guy. Quite a bit harder, I'd say. And tanker as well. <laughs> he won't die. Yeah, you can also just do this trick here where you line up a whole bunch of bombs, but that can be very, very dangerous to do. But, yeah, it increases your chances of hitting him. But yeah, that's it. That's all. <laughs> Still pretty easy, despite me not having the power-ups. And yeah, now we're moving on toward 3 here. Yeah, world 3 will be quite, quite harder than the second world, um, but yeah, <laughs> wow, that guy is coming right at me. But yeah, we will explore the third world in the next part there, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, <laughs> see you in the next episode.